Okay, now, to, um, to work from a reasoning standpoint as to whether or not God exists, um, to define how uh, God's omnipotence works before I get on to the computer science analogy, we have to define how um, it should a God exist or do not exist. Uh, if a God existed, how omnipotent would it be? Well, um, from the uh, example that we have, uh, Genesis chapter 1, verse 27 says, we are made in God's image. Um, if that were the case, if we were literally made in God's image and God was omnipotent vis-a-vis -vis his own plane as we were as he was here, then theoretically speaking, we should be able to wave, a, uh, wave with a wave of the hand, make a tornado rise in our own living room or something like that. But since that's not the case and we aren't omnipotent, therefore there must be a um, therefore there must be a means by which we are omnipotent to something else vis-a-vis -vis God was omnipotent to us. That is theoretically if he existed. More in the next video.